Hi guys, it's Dr. Jen and welcome back to Celebrity Review. So this picture has been sweeping the internet um, of Kylie Jenner's under eye filler. So you guys, you can see over here, it's t very distinct how it's like poofing up and it looks like she has a little, some acne scars. I'd love to treat that. And then over here, same thing. You see how the, it's, it looks like a bunch of fluid over here underneath the eye. So I see a lot of people saying, oh, this is filler migration. This is, this is that's not filler migration. And filler under the under eyes is probably, like it's one of the most difficult things to do, but it's also, people are just so scared of it for this exact reason. So you guys, what happened here is that, uh, first of all, let me explain what, what hyaluronic acid is. So hyaluronic acid is actually a sugar and it's hydrophilic. What does that mean? It draws in water over time. So it's, what's gonna happen is that filler, especially in that really delicate under eye area where it's so visible, is gonna draw in fluid as time goes on. Another problem here, and a lot of people are saying, well, she's you know so rich, she can go to anybody, but this person who injected underneath her eyes, they put it also in the wrong plane. So this is way too superficial. That's why it's drawing in that water and you can see it so apparently because it's too superficial um, underneath the skin. So I do, you guys, I treat a lot of under eyes. I do a lot of dissolving of under eyes and I do a lot of injections of under eyes, literally like multiple, multiple patients a day. And most of the time we have to either dissolve first or people are so scared because they've had a bad experience with under eye filler or their own experience or they can see other people's under eye filler and people are terrified of this exact thing. So it's really important when you do under eye filler, it's not the product, it's not, it's the person. My friend Rand said, said it best. It's not the filler, it's the filler. So the way that I do it, you have to prehydrate your filler. So it's like, so you put saline with the under eye filler and prehydrate it, meaning when it draws in that water, it's already drawn it in. So it's like putting in a wet sponge versus a dry sponge. If you're gonna put in a dry sponge, it's gonna draw in that water over time and it's gonna puff up. So you put in a wet sponge, it's already prehydrated. And this is such an important step. It's actually, it's more work for, for me, for the doctors, but it's completely worth it because you get better results and you don't have this happen. The other thing that I do is I do tiny little drops onto the bone. It's very precise and you can go all, as long as you're on bone, you're in a very safe place because there's no blood vessels on the bone and you can go right, as long as you, you're on that, the, on the bone, on the ridge there, you can do tiny, tiny little drops so you're not too superficial, you're as deep as you possibly can go. There's also no pain receptors on the bone, so it does not, I mean, Botox hurts more than uh, under eye filler does. And you have it deep and you have it prehydrated so that it doesn't puff up over time, it looks unbelievably natural, and because of its precision, you're never gonna have like a bulging of filler or migration. And then clearly, a lot of people, another thing with under eye filler, they think it's age related. I mean, she's in her 20s, so we absolutely know that this is not age related, obviously. So I want people to know about this because I, it gives filler a bad reputation when we see results like that. People think that, like this, I mean, people think that this is what filler does, this is how you're gonna look if you have it done, and it's absolutely not the truth. I know this is a little different, this isn't a before and after, but I did wanna address this because this is, people need to be informed and um, it's so important to know to when you're choosing who to go to. It's Dr. Jen, thanks so much for following and let me know who you wanna see next in the comments below.